There's always a contrast on how to start these kinds of videos. I could be like totally extreme, acting all hyper excitable, trying to convince you how incredibly excited I am. Or could opt for like a Mr. Rogers or Bob Ross vibe. Hey there, friend. What a wonderful day it is to talk a bit about Viper. At any rate, I want you to know two things from the outset. One, fiber has consistently been linked to improvements in health across many studies in humans. And two, one of the main mechanisms attributed to fiber's mass health improvement effect is due to its ability to be taken up by microbes in your intestines and for it to be turned into what is known as short chain fats. These short chain fats improve our health through a number of ways as they interact with our different organs. Now, what I just told you is true, but it's boring. And I wouldn't have been able to say that just a few months ago, but because this study released, I have that luxury. You'll soon understand why. Essentially, the researchers made mice unhealthy by feeding them fructose, a type of sugar that has been implicated many times over as being harmful to health. Now, for example, it leads your liver to produce more fat, which contributes to fatty liver disease. But along with the mice that were fed fructose, there was another group fed fructose plus a fiber called inulin. And when looking at their livers compared, we see some striking differences. The more white that you see, the more fat has disturbed the integrity of the liver tissue. Now, I'm sure you notice the CF condition there. That's the fructose only condition. Yeah, not looking too pretty, is it? The condition next to it, IF there, is the fructose plus inulin, the fiber. If we just focus on those two, it's clear that fiber leads to substantial reductions in liver fat. So the takeaway here is in the big picture, fiber improves our health, but in a more specific sense, fiber protects our liver from the fructose caused liver fattiness. But while that's interesting in, and in line with considerable human research, it's not why I'm excited about this study. What's got my attention is the multiple ways that fiber enacts these effects. For example, the researchers discovered that inulin, again, that's the fiber, reduces the accumulation of fat in the liver by reducing the expression or the production of lipogenesis genes. In plain English, it reduces the production of proteins, so enzymes responsible for converting fructose into fat that then burdens the liver cells. Beyond that, it encourages the liver cells to metabolize or break down fat molecules. But even beyond that, something else was discovered, something called the fructose spillover effect. One of the issues with fructose consumption is that it spills over from the intestines to the liver, where it causes the harm that we discussed. So excess fattiness is just one example. Although it also contributes to fibrosis, so the worsening of the liver integrity. Anyway, it can also spill over into the colon, the later section of the intestine, and cause dysbiosis, an accumulation of unwanted microbes, as well as generate excess fats that are then transported to the liver and further burden it with a nutrient that it's already overwhelmed in. Fascinatingly, when we look at the amount of fructose in the intestinal tract, the first two are the part of the initial sections of the intestine, so the small intestine, and the last one is the colon where we don't want fructose. Otherwise, we get this uh, spillover effect. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that the IF and CIF conditions there, which are both fiber supplemented, show no fructose in the colon, thereby proving that the spillover effect is nullified with fiber. So far more interesting than just fiber produces short chain fats that help our body. We now know multiple new mechanisms by which fiber helps us, and in this context, especially against fructose. One, it reduces the generation of fat in the liver. Two, it increases the metabolism of fat molecules. And three, it protects the colon from experiencing fructose spillover. In fact, it goes on because fiber also changes our metabolism to begin generating out of bad, bad fructose a new series of proteins that have wide reaching benefits within our body. In fact, you may even be supplementing to try to raise these proteins. And it has some other potent effects that I'll get into, 
like why fructose disappears from the colon or some additional effects on the liver and more. But alas, it is too much for me to fit into this video. So I'm going to be including it in my much extended, more detailed version exclusive for the Physionic Insiders, along with an extensive article detailing everything for you, along with more specifics on how to take advantage of all this information for ourselves. Anyway, if you're interested, plus all these perks right here, consider joining the insiders. The link is in the description. Okay, now we know all this comes down to the fiber inulin, but where do we get inulin? Here's a non-exhaustive list of foods that contain a sizable amount of inulin. Or of course, there's always ways of supplementation, but some people get gastrointestinal discomfort from concentrated amounts. So consider spreading it out when possible, if that's you. All this to say that inulin, a dietary fiber, improves liver health through a number of mechanisms, all revolving around protecting the liver from becoming a fatty liver, or scientifically called a steatotic liver, which can grow into inflammation and fibrosis. So prioritize inulin sources, especially if you have non-alcoholic liver disease, like varieties of roots, garlics, leeks, and so on. Oh, and I realized that you could just avoid fructose, but some of these benefits are independent of fructose. So you'd also be missing out on some of the uh, other benefits, although avoiding sugary drinks filled with fructose ain't such a bad idea. We agree there too. And hey friend, won't you join me in a, another video on the relationship between fiber and cancer? That sounds like it'd be a fun time, doesn't it? Guys, it's mind blowing fun. Just click on the video. Thanks for tuning in. Speak soon.